HVAC installers, welcome to downtown Toronto, where getting things crane can be an absolute disaster. This is Dundas Street, Toronto, where power lines, streetcar tracks, trees, tight one-way streets riddled with cars, and laneways that are virtually impossible to get delivery trucks into are basically your only delivery options. That doesn't even take into account all the power, cable, and telephone lines that crisscross those laneways and streets. You saw how easy this crane got into this laneway. Now compare that to this poor standard delivery truck that is just trying to bring the HVAC unit in for the lift. This is basically as close as that truck is going to get to where it needs to go, which, as you can see, comes up severely short. Meet Braymore's latest crane edition, the BG315 Mobile Crane. It can assist in helping you solve some of your craning nightmares. This crane is small like a car, it can squeeze through tight spaces, it can off-road over difficult terrain where you wouldn't even consider taking a regular crane, and it can lift a surprisingly large amount of weight considering its small size. Now thankfully, Braymore is very good at working with its customers to do those unusual lifts, maneuvering and leapfrogging around to try and help you get your freight where it needs to go. On this particular lift, they used a combination of crane and special dollies to bring the HVAC unit down this laneway. This HVAC unit is larger than most, weighing in at over 2,500 pounds. This move requires the crane to do two lifts, one to get it off the truck and two to get it up on top of a three-story building. What's really cool about this crane is that it's operated by remote control allowing the operator to move with the crane so that he can see firsthand what he needs to do. He doesn't have to worry about following some slow or faulty hand signals which are given from a second person on the site. He just looks for himself and makes it happen. The BG315 also has a knuckle crane built into it, allowing it to maneuver in and around objects like wires that are in your way. These objects would normally prevent your typical standard city crane from doing a job like this. On this job, there is only a few spots beside this building that the crane can actually set up, which makes this particular job really interesting to do. They could have used a winch line on this job to lift it sooner, which it does have, but using a knuckle crane to bend down like this gives you a better idea of what it can really do. It also reduces the amount of movement and swing when it comes to lifting the HVAC unit into the air which, as you can see on this particular job, is something that they really need to watch out for. One of the things that Braymore is known for is being careful. Slow and steady does win the race, which I think you can see on this job really does matter. Well, we could wait for someone to signal bad directions to us from the roof, but why would we do that? When we can follow the crane operator up onto the roof where he can complete the job for himself. As you can see, this is a precision lift with not a lot of room for error. That stand is a perfect fit for this particular HVAC unit. Do you see how smooth that unit is being landed on that stand? Great job, Dave. When bringing up the rest of the pieces, the crane operator can control the crane from the roof just as easily as he did from the ground. Isn't that amazing? Do you want to learn more? Give us a call or check us out online at crane.to.